Joss Whedon is set to direct a solo Batgirl movie. Buffy the Vampire Slayer creator Joss Whedon is set to start work on a Batgirl solo film. According to Variety, Whedon is on board at Warner Brothers. To write, produce, and direct the movie, which will be set in the DC Extended Universe. Little else is known about the solo project, but it's huge news for Whedon and DC. His last feature film was 2015's Avengers, Age of Ultron in the competing Marvel Cinematic Universe. It was a Herculean effort for the director at the time, and the behind-the-scenes stress pushed him to break ties with the studio. Moving to Warner Brothers. Is a huge win for the DC's heroes. And whatever comes of the eventual Batgirl movie, it immediately sounds like a good fit for the director. Batgirl, otherwise known as Barbara Gordon, first appeared in comics back in 1967. As the brilliant daughter of Commissioner Gordon, she's left indelible mark on the so-called Bat family, and has become a feminist icon in the comics industry. Other Batgirls Wedden could approach include Betty Kane, who first debuted back in 1961, Cassandra Kane, who currently goes by Orphan in the comics, and Stephanie Brown, who originally went by Spoiler before taking up the Batgirl mantle briefly. Given Wedden's love of powerful and complicated women in his work, see, Buffy, Dollhouse, and Firefly, it makes sense that he'd come on as writer-director. The move to make a Batgirl movie also shows Warner Brothers. Fleshing out the DCEU with Batman-related heroes and villains. The studio is already making Gotham City Sirens, which features Harley Quinn, Poison Ivy, and Catwoman, as well as the Chris McKay-directed Nightwing movie, which will follow former Robin, and Batgirl love interest, Dick Grayson. However, conversations will almost certainly be had as to whether or not a woman should have been tapped to handle this adaptation, considering how important the character is to female fans.